Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the Worms Reloaded Arena. Once again, we are here to witness some epic Worms Reloaded battling. Today, our contenders are Deathwish808 and a load of crap once again, following on from their last confrontation. And um, remember, the last match was very intense. It came down to the Y on both occasions, despite the fact that Deathwish808 was taking high ground early on. Um, a load of crap came back with some remarkable plays and um, almost brought it back on both occasions. However, Deathwish took the series 2-0 last time out. But if anything, I'm sure that's going to spur a load of crap on here to try and um, better his game. Not that he played a bad game in the previous series, but um, yeah, I'm sure he's going to be hungry for the big Ws here as uh, Deathwish is loading up the landscapes. I dare say they're going to be looking for another pond. Looks like we are in an inside kind of environment. This normally suggests that they are looking for a pond. Yeah, um, there are two matches in this series and um, I'm sure it's going to be as entertaining as the previous. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, all that sort of jazz as the action is about to get underway. We have got the pond with um, a little bit of uh, golf equipment laying around. Who is going to get the first turn? It's a load of crap on the left-hand side of the map. Looking at his options here, we're going to have to see, I think, either a high or low shot across to the right. A high shot on the right would take Death Swiss Worm, um, possibly down to the barrels and the mines down below, or he could play for the safe um, shot on the bottom right there. JJ, unfortunately, though, has jumped over a mine. That has completely backfired on him. I'm not really sure what he was trying to do there, but he uh, he backflipped, trying to get a bit more of a high ground. I taking his worm to safety. Actually caught a mine and blew the my, uh, worm into the drink. He's one worm down. Deathwish took a bit of damage, and so did JJ's uh, worm. And now this is the one I thought JJ would go for. Definitely she's lining it up with the bazooka here. Rainbowing it in. Oh my god, another backfired shot. My goodness, you could not make this up from these seasoned players. Jesus, I was not expecting that. I think Deathwish was trying to just loft the grenade there up on the right-hand side and take away a load of crap's worm. But um, two opening shots from our players here totally backfiring now a load of crap is going to go for death wishes high worm here with a zook shot could he fall onto the mines no he falls to the left the fire dance sends him straight into the drink and for the first time in three games a load of crap is taking the advantage here in the early stages um looking around at the geometry i would say a load of crap uh his worm positioning is a lot better here than Deathwish. although he does have those explosive barrels which Deathwish is gonna try and take advantage of there he hits the barrels the fire drops down jj a uh, load sorry a load of crap's worm there is uh just brief uh, just enough away from that fire to avoid a uh, fire dance um his second worm on the left, though, there is some fire above it. Looks like it is burning down, so that could um, come into play any moment and um, could potentially mean that his worm is going to jump off to the right and uh, potentially into the water. Jay's just going to try and avoid the pit and escape the pit, but unfortunately he takes on the fire and um, causes damage. And after my initial prediction that uh, a load of crap was uh, looking strong here, I think the tables are starting to turn. It is still a three-on-two situation in a load of crap's favor, though. Deathwish with the Zooka here on the right-hand side of the map. Is he just going to try and uh, rainbow this up in between the barrels? He does. The fire avoids him. He actually sends a load of crap's worm higher, but we got the overkill there, so that is going to be the end. Is he going to knock the mine down, though, towards Deathwish? He does! And oh my god, he is in the drink! What an amazing play there! Deathwish is going to be kicking himself. Let's take another quick look at that one. Deathwish with the initial shot, which causes the overkill on a load of crap's worm, but then look what happens as the death animation fires. He catches the mine, knocks it down to Deathwish, and that sends him over the edge, down into that pool of water on top of that brolly, and throws the game right back in a load of crap's favour. And uh, we are two on one here with a load of crap now to play. He could tie it. He, he could tie the game up right here, right now. With a good grenade shot, he could even take the suicide and the damage here. He's setting a five-second timer. He's moving out the way, finds a little alcove. Will this be enough to knock Deathwish into the water? Oh my goodness, he finds the gap. You cannot make this up. Deathwish saved by the skin of his teeth here. 
He is down to 31 health against JJ's 2. And um, this is teeing up to quite a fantastic finale on the final... Uh, on the first game, sorry, of this series, Deathwish with the five second grenade here, just gonna try and launch this one up and maybe get it to stick on a load of crap. Aims it down, runs away. Is that gonna throw him in the drink? No, the uh, scenery actually stops a load of crap's worm there from moving. However, uh, a load of crap's worm is next. The uh, next one to go, sorry, is the one on the left hand side of the map. So Deathwish is gonna have a free shot at that right hand worm assuming he can survive this one from a load of crap who successfully backflips up to the top is he going to bring his worm down to Deathwish's level or is he just going to try and uh, drop a grenade in here i don't think he's going to go for a bazooka shot i think the uh, the scenery is going to be um come into play here what is he going to try and do he's still got that bazooka out i believe we are down to uh, over halfway of this turn gone. We are clock is ticking down almost to 10 here. A load of crap is going to have to uh, hurry up and make his play here. Drops the five second grade. That is going to be catastrophic. Oh my God, he's going to send his own worm into the drink. We are one on one here. And all of a sudden the pendulum has swung right back into Deathwish's favor. Deathwish with the 31 against JJ's 20 health uh, worm here. Uh, the wind is really not against Deathwish here, so I think we're going to see a grenade shot. But now where Deathwish's worm is, he is pretty safe. Uh, I was just about to say he was pretty safe from a water shot here. I think he might try and bring his worm back to the left-hand side here. As soon as he's taken his shot, the two-second timer, it sticks on JJ. And that is overkill. He has got the 24 damage on the 20 worm. That was quite a fantastic end to this first game here. I was really not expecting that at all. I honestly thought JJ was going to take that in the early ground, but alas, it was not to be the case. Deathwish prevails once more, and that's 1-0 for Deathwish. Um, JJ now three rounds without a win in this Worm series. What can he do to bring it back? We will find out momentarily when the gameplay resumes. The action is about to get back underway here as we are looking for the next map to play. Um, it looks like we might be going outside for this one, which is interesting. Oh, no. Oh, we are going to be going for this one. I am pretty sure Deathwish is going to click that big tick, and we are going to see some bridge and pond action here. So if you thought the bond action was carnage when you added a bridge, it is ten times worse. Looking at the position of the worms, Deathwish has got one tucked away on the left-hand side here. JJ with the opening shot of the round. Um... Oh, normally you would probably go for the bridge however um, he has got two worms on there and with the mines the mines can bounce around it looks like he is going to go for a cross map bazooka i don't think with that angle he's going to be hitting a death wishes worm but he is he hits the worm death wishes worm is sent plundering into the pit he got really lucky with the mines that the mines didn't um rattle around there but um a load of crap taking the early ground. I can only assume Deathwish is going to retaliate here with another bazooka shot. And um, I think a load of crap is going to be down 3-2 um, to two at the end of this shot. Deathwish thinking about it for a moment. Taking a little bit... I think he's, he's trying to look for a bit of shelter on the off chance that some of those mines are going to drop down from the bridge. He shoots it up. Quite an interesting shot there from Deathwish. Let's take another look at that on the replay and see if we can break that down a little bit more. He fires the initial shot. He aims for kind of where the between the mine and the barrel. The shot goes up and knocks JJ's worm left there onto safety. His other worm slides right into a mine, catapulting him off to the left, and that actually catapults a mine up to Deathwish's worm on the right hand side there. And um Causes 25 damage to his own worm. The worm that he put safe at the bottom was uh, well and truly safe there. There was no damage incurred to that one. But um, yeah, definitely a very interesting shot there. Not what I was expecting at all to come from that. But the action continues now. And uh, we are back to a load of crap. It is three on three here. Not really sure what he's going to be able to do though from this position. He could potentially try and... Um, bazooka the mine but i think that's going to put his lower left worm there in jeopardy i think the best thing to do here is going to be to do a bit of terraforming and forward planning 
um, in the hope that maybe he can dig out a bit of an alcove and um, get some safety later on in the game. And now it's time for Deathwish's MVP worm here. Um, I think he's just going to wave the skipping rope. I was just going to say, it's it, there's no point trying to try and get out of that one. Make your opponent try and dig you out instead. Um, but I think... Uh, we got the 50 worm here, and I was just about to say, I think we're going to see a final turn from this worm. I can't imagine this worm is going to last much longer after this turn because it's one of Deathwish's right worms which is going to take the next one. He fires up the grenade. It's very high, completely off target there from a load of crap. Only incurs five damage on Deathwish's worm, and I think it's time to say sayonara to this middle worm on this platform. But once this one is going to go, it's going to... Um, so, um, wow, okay, okay, that's not the shot I was anticipating. Um, Deathwish with the cross map rainbow there hits the barrels and mines around that lower left worm there of a load of crap, sinks him into the water. Now, this is going to be an interesting play from um, Deathwish next time around because he's certainly got to bring this now down to a three on one scenario. That worm that I suggested was going to be. Uh, Seeing a watery end last time around is uh, by sure going to be the target for Deathwish's next bombardment as a load of crap uses the grenade there to get rid of the mine. Interestingly though, that terraforming he was doing on the previous shot with that worm now is going to come to nothing as he has got no possible way of getting across. Deathwish there, not with enough height and rainbows the rocket across the map. This is going to open up another shot here. For a load of crap. Interestingly, though, Deathwish's next worm to play is the one on the left that is boxed in. So um, we're going to see the survival here of this worm for at least another turn. We're going to go for the high with the wind against us. It's not going to make too much difference because it is a relatively short shot here. The mine, uh, sorry, the, the bazooka would um, normally kind of pick up. This is probably going to curl back underneath if it goes for it. But he switches to the grenade instead. Five second timer. I would probably go for a lower timer here. I'd be worried about a bounce just like that. Bounces away from Deathwish and probably gives him a bit of a safety net. The fire barrel goes to the left. Rear, um, quite a way away from Deathwish there. So he lives to fight another day with that worm. I think we're going to see another jump rope turn here though from Deathwish. Indeed we do. Which leaves a load of craps worm here on the left hand side of the map. I don't really think we're going to see... A lot going on from this worm this time around, but um, we will see. And um, I'm not really sure how this one is going to pan out, guys. I think what we're going to end up with is the two worms on the left-hand side for each of the players. Um, and Deathwish, I think, is going to be left with one of his remaining right worms as well. Look at what JJ's going for here. He's got the bazooka out. He's, he's switching to the grenade. power, five seconds. This is going to go for a, some sort of bank shot round the top off the bridge. Maybe is what he's looking for here. So the, the play I think he's going to go for is try and roll a grenade around that curve, hit the edge of the bridge and fire it back down towards Deathwish's lower left worm to try and sort of open up that. Um, but uh, there we go. That is the shot I thought I was going to see a couple of turns ago from Deathwish, um, reducing JJ's worm to the water. We are down to three on one, and um, interestingly here, this is going to be a game of chess, I think, now. Um, none of the worms are really in a position to hit any of the others, and I think that's a smart play there from a load of crap to try and start opening up that left-hand side. Um, of course, as I mentioned in the previous series, though, you don't want to be that one that opens up that gap because you're inviting the player on their next turn to basically have a free shot at you. What uh, a load of crap has got the advantage of here if he's kind of taking note of um, which worms are in turn here. He could potentially open it up when the worm for Deathwish on the left isn't at their turn. And I'll kind of give him a free shot um, up to their death, which was quite a nice shot there. And interestingly, that bank shot I was talking about before is now well and truly off the cards. Deathwish with a, a beautifully lofted grenade shot in there to reduce the length of that bridge. Um, was possibly going for like a bit of a bounce off the bridge, I think, to take out that bit of uh, surface that JJ has stood on there. But alas, it was not to be. It's going to definitely make it difficult for that lower right worm now to get involved as we... Um, we have the jump rope worm here, so interestingly, 
we know that uh, the next two shots from Deathwish are going to come from the right. So that might give a load of crap just enough time here to open up a gap and inflict enough damage on that worm to uh, send it out the game. And then we have got a, a left versus right end of the map here, end of the game, which is going to be quite the game of chess, which I alluded to earlier on. Deathwish's high worm here on the right, I don't think he's going to get into any sort of action here. Um, I don't really think there is any shots on it at all. But this one, I think, is going to... This one's going to go the distance. I'd be very surprised if we don't end up in a sudden death situation with this match. Um, Deathwish has moved his worm back from the edge. Not really sure what he's going for here. He's taking out a bit of geometry, perhaps thinking that... Um, if a load of crap gets his worm into a, a relatively good position, um, trying to take away any possibilities of bouncing grenades, perhaps. I don't know. But Deathwish's worm there, top right, is definitely in a nice little alcove with an, uh, not a very wide entry. So that's definitely going to make any sort of bazooka shots. For some reason there as well, a load of crap switching from the bazooka to the grenade. And... Um, the timer was too long. We had too much bouncing. I'm very surprised about that. I, I would have thought he would have stuck with the uh, yeah, bazooka shot know. there uh, and try and open up that gap a bit more, knowing full well that um, Deathwish's next shot is coming away from the right-hand side. It does pay you in this game, if you can, to try and remember where them worms are coming from, especially when you get down to these sort of two and three-on-one worm situations. You can really use that to your advantage. So here, for me personally, I would not look to open this gap up, but he's pulled the bazooka out. Um, he, he's got away with it. He's got away with it. Deathwish's worm still can't and get out of there. He can't have a shot on a load of crap's worm. And he did manage to cause a little bit of splatter damage. So we're going to see a jump rope, I think, here from Deathwish again. He moves his worm slower down to try and avoid any further splatter damage. But I think this is the time now where a load of crap needs to really go in full force here and try and take away this worm on the left with a couple of bazooka shots. But uh, unfortunately... It wasn't, um, in my opinion, wasn't far enough to the right. He could have really opened up that and to cause the damage on the following shots. Um, I would be very wary now of that worm and trying to open that up uh, before that bottom left worm has had another turn here. But we'll see what a load of crap chooses to do as Deathwish. Not really with any options there on that top right worm. Just fires the um, bazooka straight into the pond out of that gap there. But I'm really interested to see here what a load of crap is going to do. It looks like he is going to try and open that up. That's going to potentially compromise his position now. He's got one more shot on that worm. But then that bottom left worm of Deathwish is going to be um, free to aim and do whatever he wants. So he really needs to pull off something spectacular here. Or else it could be game over for a load of crap. Deathwish there with quite a nicely lofted grenade bouncing off there, but it wasn't just it just wasn't quite high enough as it bounced um, to with the splatter damage there to cause any damage. Uh, but a load of crap has really put himself in a tricky situation here. I don't think he can even really do anything with the mine. He fires in the grenade shot. He aims it to the left in an attempt to push the worm over into the pond. It is not enough. Deathwish with a 16 damage on the 56 worm now, whose turn it is. Can he fire up that bazooka and take out that ledge underneath a load of crap? The other thing we've got to take into consideration is, will will he actually fall into the drink? Or will he fall into that little pit just to the left of the drink? Only time will tell. Deathwish winds up the shot here. He sends him down. And yes, as I rightly predicted right at the end there, he is safe. But the 63 damage puts him in a very compromised position here. Um, one direct shot from any of the weapons here will mark an end. And he is in quite a shallow pit there. Um, any kind of pit damage will lower the, the floor there for a load of crap. And potentially put him into the drink. That's never going to happen with a, mi a, a minus four win at that angle. And things are looking more and more bleak. Turn by turn here for a load of crap. Deathwish is bringing his worm out of safety. Is the right thing to do. I think we're going to see a grenade toss here though. No, it is a bazooka. I was very surprised at that. Looking at the wind. Uh, it was a four against him. Just like uh, a load of crap's last shot. So 
Um, I was very surprised to see that he pulled out a bazooka and not a grenade there. Because a grenade right on the left hand side of a load of crap would have sent him flying straight into the drink. Four against a load of crap again, but again. Oh, what the hell was that? The bounce off the water. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that at all. Um, I was just about to say, uh, once again, the four off. Um, a load of crap there. The wind against him was not going to play well, but uh, I've never seen it. I've seen grenades bounce off the water, but never a rocket. That was an impressive shot there. Something I've never seen before, but Deathwish here with the bazooka. Two wind against him. Not going to affect the shot too much. He's lining it up with his abacus. I think he's going to need a higher shot, though. And... <laughs> Okay, I, I, I can't hear what the players are saying themselves, but it looks like we are now going for trick shots here. <laughs> Deathwish oh, with the similar bounce the rocket off oh, the water off. shot towards a load of crap. <laughs> um, looks like we are going for trick shots here. Uh, he's a, goner. a load of crap here, though, interestingly, um, going for the worm on the left, whose turn it is next, I believe. So this could send the worm into the pond. It does indeed and brings it down to a two-on-one situation. However, once again, a load of crap's worm is in a very dangerous position here. Deathwish with the two high shot there. Trying to, um, he had the wind with him, so it was always going to aid the rocket and make it travel that a little bit faster. But um, I think a load of crap got away with that, really. He's in a really low position here, which um, he could easily be put in the water. It doesn't seem like he wants to back up, though. I would be trying to get my worm a little bit more towards the left if I could. He pulls out the uh, grenade. I think he's going to try and attack Deathwish's high worm here. This is going to be an interesting shot. Let's see how it pans out. The grenade toss is short, though. Not enough, but he nicely positions that to the right of Deathwish's 36 worm. He is in the drink, and we are down to one-on-one. -on -one. Deathwish here with the bazooka shot coming up short. And that has taken away uh, a load of crap's safety net. But in hindsight, as I would have said, I would have put my worm up there. That was probably a good uh, a good job. He didn't for the simple fact that um, that would have brought an end to the game. But now what is a load of crap going to do? The shot's going to be easier for Deathwish being on the high ground. And um, he's going to really need a strong grenade toss he needs a bit of a high angle though if he wants to pull that one off but that was a it was a good attempt for a first attempt but what is Deathwish going to do here on the high ground he has the wind against him I assume we're going to see another bazooka shot I think he needs to bring the angle down and the power down a bit because he's really overshooting these shots in the minute and he's almost giving a load of crap an opportunity to move to the left for a bit of safety but if you look at that waterline on the the area below a load of crap there it is getting lower. It, sorry, the water line is getting higher and higher, which is going to put his worm in a very tricky situation at all. He, as well, he adjusts the angle of the grenade toss here, but he's going to catch the geometry at the top there. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a testing situation here for a load of crap. What is he going to do? He really needs to use those grenades. I don't think the wind has been a, with him the last few shots. Deathwish, once again with the um, overpowered wow. shot, but is he just playing with a load of crap here, and is he just trying to open up that area behind him and remove all elements of safety that a load of crap might have here? The wind is with a load of crap. I think we're going to see a switch to the bazooka. No, we're not. We're going to see another grenade toss. It's good, and we get the splatter damage, the bounce there. Just floated, lofted the grenade up in the air, and, and he got enough airtime just... To hit Deathwish and cause the splatter damage. This game is far from over. Deathwish down to 55 here. Still battling away with the bazooka. Wind against him. Two win. And he comes up short with that shot. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if he's just playing with a load of crap here. Or if he's just generally just getting his, uh, his calculations correct. But normally Deathwish is bang on when he has that abacus out. And he is, uh, he is making those shots. A load of crap once again, opening up that area nicely. That is going to play into his hands going forward. Um, the two, the, I think that was the three splatter damage there. Cause two death wish, knocking him over to the left. And that has opened up that area nicely. Even if the death wish now retreats to that right hand area, uh, he is not safe anymore. 
And it looks I, I didn't see that, but Deathwish catches the pixels. I think that was... Um, it was initially looking like a really good shot with power and angle, but... Um, I don't know. I, I didn't see that on the on the screen. Maybe there was some invisible pixels as JJ with the perfectly positioned shot there on the ledge. It puts him into the lead in terms of health, death, which down to 17. But we remember back to the previous series, this was a similar situation. We thought a load of crap was good, looking good and going to close it all up. Wasn't to be. Deathwish with the win against him. Um Oh not God. really sure whatever he's, he's misreading this window. Well, I, I, I think at this point it is coming down to he is playing with a load of crap. He is teasing him. But um, so we've got 520 in the match. Left to run. I don't think this is going to come down to sudden death like we predicted before. But it's making for some interesting across the map shots here to finish off this game. Who is going to take it? Can a load of crap tie up the series? Deathwish once again overpowered and too high with wow. that shot it's very oh, uncharacteristic from yeah. deathwish 808 like i said he's normally bang on with these shots which makes me think he is just playing wind is against a load of clap so we're going to get a grenade shot in here can he get one in the alcove position just behind deathwish 808 it's good it is very good that is the shot of the game guys let's take another look at that one in an instant replay the three wins against him there meant he had to use a grenade shot with the two-second timer. I wonder if it was going to be too short, but it bounces nicely, and just as it's lofting into the air, it catches Deathwish's worm for the 24 damage, which is seven overkill, sending Deathwish 808 in an exploding end to his worm's life, and JJ finally takes the big W to tie up the series one and one. And I can only imagine that JJ is going to be absolutely ecstatic with that result. Finally, he has managed to beat the master Deathwish 808. It's a tie series, guys. I don't think they're going to have another match tonight. So next time out, it is going to be for all the chips, the big one, who is going to take the next series between Deathwish 808 and and a load of crap. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this riveting commentary once again and this action from these two very experienced and seasoned players. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Thank you and goodbye.